Hello everyone, welcome back to Armenia Rising. It's been a while, I almost forgot uh, I had this campaign going, so I got back to it. And let's see what's going on here. So yeah, it's, I skipped several turns, uh, so someone was born it seems, uh, and there is a problem with defamation. Okay, let's just pay him off, we don't have much choice. Uh, there was an un a bit of an unrest in Ganzak. Uh, unrest settled it seems. What? Uh, from slavery. Okay, um, no risk of an uprising in this region for the next few years. Okay, that seemed to be good. The arrival of our forces in the region has quelled any talk of slave rebellion. Okay, that sounds good. Office security. Oh, yes, I've also made this gentleman. He was a husband of my regent uh, or a queen or call her she was a regent so he is now the commander-in-chief and he's in fact chief advisor as well in the meantime this Ara who was a son of this fictitious Armen who you start with as a king he came of age so that that is great he's 18 now and I married him off to a Bactrian princess how cool is that uh, <laughs> so Bactrians are now uh, on friendly turn terms with me uh, let's have a quick look However, they're not a strong faction at all. In fact, they only have, I think, one province. Yeah. And at war with Seleucids and Bactri and Parthians. So that's Parthia for you. And this is that Seleucid. So one of the reasons I did not come back to this campaign was that it just kind of plateaued. Um, you know, nothing was going on. My allies, my vassals have in fact destroyed the Galatians. So Galatians are no more. Rome doesn't want to do anything with us. So uh, let me show you quickly. So yeah, these are the Colchis faction. They are my allies and they gone ahead and destroyed the Galatians. So I actually don't know what they're up to now. They seem to be engaged in some sort of war. Let me see who they're at war with. Welcome, welcome. Oh, they're not at war with anybody. They control Ankira and Colchis itself. So yeah, they were the one that actually destroyed the Galatians for me. And they're paying us, uh, us a nice 2,502 gold uh, per turn tribute, which is always great to see. But they're the only faction, really, that is uh, tributary to me. Now, yes, my campaign progressed along the lines of, you know, kind of uh, bordering on somewhat of a boredom. I did not know what to do. Seleucids are, as you can see, immensely powerful. So I thought... You know, it's just a bit suicidal going against these guys at this stage, but I think that's exactly what I'm going to do at this stage. There's nothing else to do for me but to declare war on them, even though I shouldn't really be doing that. But, you know, for the gameplay reasons, I think I'm going to go with it because there's nothing else to do. It's been several turns, more than several turns, in fact, where I just sat there and quietly rebuilt myself. You see, my provinces are built to, uh, you know, highest standards that is possible. The rest requires technology and such. So I control bits and bobs everywhere. I controlled Armenia fully and I also control, um, what else do I control? Cappadocia partially, Media Trapatene partially, uh, and that's that. So yeah, if devs are watching of this mighty ancient empire uh, mod, guys, I've noticed one of the buildings here, one of the military barracks, I think, I was building it here in Paitakaran and then I was rebuilding, I destroyed it. It offers war elephants and uh, that's totally, yeah, it's inappropriate. Armenians have never fielded, don't have history or access to elephants. They never even fielded camels or had access to camels apart from this uh, short episode when Tigran the Great employed Arabs to guard his empire and trading routes here in Mesopotamia, but they they don't have access native camelry like yeah this is this is totally wrong this camel resource in the heart in the heartland and neither should they have access to elephants something else should be appropriate which is actually reminding me of the fact that i've managed to gain access to cataphracts this is what you want this is a fantastic historically accurate unit and i can recruit it now so this is my army guys this is only army i've got full stack sitting here so where i'm going to go i'm going to break my non-aggression i'm going to declare war on the mighty seleucid empire 
Yeah, I have this ally. See, they don't have any allies, but they're so powerful, they don't need any. So let's go ahead with that. Yes, hopefully they will. And uh, let's see if we can... Oh my days, look at this garrison now. Yeah. <laughs> ah, damn, okay. Well, you know, the uh, the die is cast, so, so to speak. We don't have much choice now. Let's see what are the mercenaries available here. I have a Galatians, I have Cappadocians as well, and I have these fellas as well. And I have all of them, like, represented in my army already. So, so this is it, guys. The war has started. Uh, so let's see. I have three spies in the field. My most experienced guy was here. Let's see if we can hinder this army. They had lots of armies here in the east. They were just... Yes, yeah, success. They were trying to batter these poor Bactrians and reduce them to, you know, single settlement. So that's what it what happens here at the moment. In fact, I need another army, don't I? Let me just try and raise forces and let me choose... Where is this 18-year-old boy? This classical education Ara who I just married. Let's raise an army. Let's give him a unit of cataphracts, obviously. Let's place you in the capital, my boy. Let's upgrade you as well. Uh, like so. And let's start recruiting some... Uh, oh, three, two... Oh, uh, my... Oh my, oh my, oh my. Well, let's give him one unit each. For now, let's see. I have lots of money, you know, I'm making quite a bit. Uh, so I'm not really concerned with that. Uh, let's just get this. Uh, let's get, yeah, this unit of light melee and let's get them the Cappadocians. So there you go. And let's, oops, no, 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 we don't want to do that. Let's, uh, so let's start building a defense army here okay because Seleucids will come for us they have several stacks here some of them i cannot really see some of them i've detected here in the east because as you can see they are huge they're huge uh, from uh, asia minor all the way to the border with india so let's see how this go <laughs> goes now guys let's let's move ahead okay here we are historical events attitude plus 60 what happened Due, due to the continuing bond between our two peoples, relations with this ally have Im improved somewhat. Who is this ally? Agvang. Ah, okay. That's good. Yeah, these are the guys here. Uh, this is good because, because, because I don't want to be backstabbed as I'm trying now to destroy or to, you know, gain some territory at the expen expense of the mighty Seleucids. Uh, so let's send my spy to this region let's see what they're up to here if there are armies here actually did my vassal did they follow me into this war let's see yes they have look at how many factions they're at war with and yet and yet and yet they don't really care they're super powerful they strength for uh, ranking and they're number one the most powerful country in the world which is not inappropriate okay uh right what are we besieging amida here yeah, how many turns until they surrender, I wonder? Let's see. Uh, let's see what's happening here. 14. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, they will start taking damage from attrition in three turns. Uh, let me see if I can build a little bit more. Yeah, there you go. Oh, actually, no, I already have... Uh, how about this? No, three, two. Okay, that, that, that should do it, right? No, let's go with the ladders. That's fine. That's fine. Let's go with the ladder and let's just continue to siege. It's spring, so we do have a bit of time, you know. And this guy, I should have actually sent him to Tushba or Ganzag because this is where the Seleucids will come from. He's too far north to defend the settlements now, for my liking. And let's scout this area. See the. Oh, okay, there's two armies. There's three armies. There's one, two, almost full stack, and three. Okay, that doesn't look very good. We need to keep an eye on them. And let's bring this guy here as well. Oh, there's another one. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, and there is one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh boy. So what I've got myself into, let's see. Um, And there's another spy down here. No, this, this guy is okay. All right, there's nothing I can build. There's nothing I can do. I'm researching. What am I researching even? I'm researching King of Kings. Yes, if we win this war. Then we are. What I want to do, guys, I want to see if I can snatch Osrene from them. And this includes Amida, 
This includes uh, Antioquia, Migdonia and Edessa. If I could snatch this from them, and also Mazaka wouldn't be too bad. It's got iron here as a resource. It used to be part of the Cappadocian uh, kingdom. They were wiped out, unfortunately. So let's see, guys, if we can do it. And then, 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 then we shall see. These guys, they should start crumbling. They're at war with so many factions. But that doesn't happen. They feel quite confident, in fact. Um, yeah, I managed to stabilize the internal situation somewhat, but look at that. Gravitas, my uh, faction, royal faction, has just got absolutely nothing going for it, which is unfortunate. All right, so let's move on. Righty right, uh, unseasonal conditions. What is that? Summer now. Hot summer in media, and hot summer in Cappadocia, and hot summer in Armenia as well. I don't think it's very good. Uh, Javelineers and no uh, minor nobility cavalry has been recruited here. So one more turn and then I think I'm going to dispatch these guys down south here somewhere. As you can see, there is armies here. They start to coalesce around this area. This one, two, three, four. Oh, basically, I drew attention to myself and now the entire might of the Seleucid Empire seem to be gearing towards attacking us, which is going to be a hell of a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I've not uh, recruited more units. I like my armies to be like kind of historically plausible and diverse. I really like, you know, bits and bobs from different ethnicities, different regions, different troop types. You know, my ideal army would probably be, you know, one unit type, uh, one unit uh, for each unit type, you know, like so diverse to kind of reflect uh, the actual historical uh, composition at the time. So, that being said, I think... Am I prudent enough in actually waiting? No, these guys can come to the aid of the city at any moment. They're within striking distance and so are these guys. No, these guys cannot reach us. Okay, they cannot reach us. However, this they cannot reach us either, it seems, right? Okay, guys, you know what? Let's just bite the bullet. Let's... No, no, let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait one more turn um, and see and see and see and see. We, we want to soften this a little bit. So let's wait for one more turn before we actually move ahead with that. Um, I have spies here. Let's see what happens in Asia Minor. In Asia Minor with their reinforcements or whatever. I'm hoping, yes, Colchis started to raid. You see, they control Nicomedia. They control all of these regions here, most of them. Uh, so this is it. And this is, I have another spy down here. Let's send him closer to, oh Jesus, and yet another army. Oh, this is, this is, seems to be, uh, yeah, gonna be a lot of fun. This is, at least, this is a navy. There's army here, there's army here, there's, yeah, I wish they had some sort of a population system. You just, you can't just, you know, uh, spam armies like that. And this is only the ones I can see, yeah? There's half a dozen here. I'm sure they might have some more somewhere else up their sleeve because the empire is huge, right? Somewhere in this region, potentially. Um, but I don't want to. I don't want to send my spies too far east, because I want them to be able to actually track some of these armies. Hopefully for me. All right, let's uh, keep our fingers crossed. One more turn, and then we'll attack. So Bactrians want military alliance. Um, they're surrounded by enemies, right? Uh, what will this gain us? I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. Uh, what can we ask of you, fellas? Payments. Yes, would you mind? No, they would. Okay, uh, do you know what? Yeah, okay, well, yeah, I let's accept. do it, why not? Okay, so this is now autumn. Uh, our spy is exposed. <clears throat> they, they haven't quite... Oh, someone's raiding something. What happened? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Raided by the sons of Ares. Okay, where are they? Where are the sons? Oh, the sons are raiding here. Look at that. Oh my god, this is such an awkward army composition. Entirely made of Cretan archers. Weird. Really, really bizarre, right? Apart from these two units. And these are Cretans as well. Jesus, how populous is this Isle of Crete? Ha! <laughs> uh, yeah, let's move this guy south. He needs to be able to somehow respond to this. Uh, what do we have there? Can we actually recruit something else? Something else. No, we can't and I don't want to this is one turn, but this is a pathetic unit Look at the morale six and this I've already got one of this is five. five. I don't want any of this nonsense uh, I've already got what I wanted from this province to be honest with you Morale seven there this uh, this unit would be recruited, but they're so unreliable. They literally like 
they buckle and they flee and uh, they you know as soon as they get into proximity of the enemy unit it's just it's just not good enough for me i'm not gonna bother with them okay trade gain procrastinator oh well done Vreg. he's a governor of armenia proper uh, if i remember correctly yes but we managed to recruit some cataphracts so all good and well i think i'm gonna go for mercenaries next for this guy now in the meantime let's check out so the Seleucids weren't able to quite reach me yet let's see what they're up to actually so one of the they have three armies that i can see one is raiding and there are two one is in arbella and one is near silica and there is another one. Oh, it's been hammered by somebody that looks good that is good to see okay so that's one and uh, let's see what's happening here in kilikia um no there's a navy no this is army okay this is navy it seems is that is that the admiral uh god knows uh, no, no, it's not an admiral. It's a uh, what is it? Is it? Uh, no, he's an admiral. Okay, fine, fine, fine. And uh, luckily, yeah, my allies starting to raid. He counter raid, which is good to see. Let's bring you fella here so that we can actually see if there's any threat that could emerge from this area. Uh, yeah, we're gonna leave this guy. No, actually, let's send you down south. Let's see what's happening with the Ptolemies here. Actually, can we talk to Ptolemaic Egypt? Where are they? Where are the Egyptians? Yeah, there they are. Oh, we already have trade with them. How about this? No, don't want non-aggression. Oh, they... No, they are at war with the Seleucids, which is good to see. Right, guys, so this is the moment of, tr of truth. I'm reluctant to start assaulting the settlement. And you can probably tell why. Look at all of these infantry units sitting inside. And look at my army. It's mostly almost half of it cavalry. This is historically very plausible. Armenian armies normally are. Although they are sedentary people, they are very cavalry heavy. Um, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for them to come to me. Because with this army I have better chance of winning field battle than actually assaulting the settlement where you have more infantry units sitting in than I have in my standing army here. So let's just wait. In the meantime, I'm going to, if I go with force march, can I reach? No, I cannot reach anything. So I'm going to keep him here. Next term, I'm moving him to Kanzak. This is why I'm not going to bother recruiting anybody. So let's move ahead. Okay, this is the moment of truth. And this is very unfortunate. Uh, because instead of one army, I'm now, fa I'm now facing three armies. Look, one, two, and a three. Uh, is that a garrison? Which one is the garrison? I don't know. This one is the garrison. Okay, this is the garrison. You know, I could take on this two. I don't think if I can take, uh, take on the three of them. Let's see the battlefield, what it looks like. No, this all these forested areas, for God's sake. Um, no, 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 no. We're going to retreat. Let's see. Let's see what's going to happen. Are they going to pursue us? No. I'm going to attack them myself next turn. Okay, so train gained. Okay, likable. Oh, thank you. Oh, I can build something here now. Let's see. Oh, yes, I can actually upgrade this. However, it will give me squalor plus 10. I only have squalor plus 3 here, which is not good. And here, squalor 7. If I upgrade, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna plunge it into a negative squalor. What that means is that I will struggle. Okay, yes, but good thing is, look. In Ganzak here, we can now build something that... Let's just focus on something that will improve. Squalor is uh, absolutely bad here. Let's see if I can improve Squalor and Public Order at the same time. I'm not sure if anything like that is available here. But we'll have a look. What's this? This is some sort of a barracks. Oh, okay. But I need to... One of the following must be... Oh, okay, so some of the conditions have not been met. Which is alright. And this is... Some sort of other barracks. No, we don't want that. Uh, where is it? Okay, no, this is also Armenian town. Now, where is... Where is, where is... The squalor sanitation... Oh, yes, this is what we want, Kanat. Look, it gives you public order as well as growth, as well as sanitation. This is, you can't go wrong with this. Yeah, can't go wrong with this at all. Plus six sanitation. In fact, what we can do now, 
No, we cannot, can we? Because this will give us... This is four turns to build, okay? Uh, next one is six turns, so that's ten turns altogether. And it will give us ten plus. Yeah, if I start building, this is twelve turns. But this will give us bigger garrison here, look. Uh, yeah, bigger garrison. Six spearmen, uh, sorry, eight spearmen here, look, you see? And uh, yeah, three instead of two, three units of heavy. Yeah, let's go with this. So by the time this build and, you know, a negative uh, squalor applies, hopefully I'll be able to uh, neutralize this by expanding on this Kanat building, which is really, really good. The garrison here is quite solid anyway. Well, solid. Spearman, right? If you can call it solid, then it is solid. <laughs> All right, let's march you fella to Ganzak, okay? My man, there you go. That's there. And is there any more? Oh, yes, there are. There are There are mercenaries here that I can actually... I already have one of this, of these fellas. I already have one of those. Uh, five morale. What I can do... Yeah, let's go with this horse archer. Look, they have six morale as opposed to five. The icons are the same. These are actually two different units. Let's get one of them. Yeah, let's get one of them, fellas. That is fine. So, what happened here, guys? This army that was attacking us... I don't know, I think it was this fella here. Seem to have... Seem to have retreated, right? Investment, yeah, we lifted the siege. Peace negotiated, and this doesn't really concern me very much. Mild winter, which is, oh yes, development. Yeah, we need to start. Loyalty from all subjects. This is good, diplomatic standing 10 plus 10 with all factions. So this was really, really good. Oh, we have food shortage in Armenia. How come? Minus 10, okay. Let's see, first of all, what can we research now? This will give us plus three tax rate. This is not, I'm not desperate for it. Uh, 12, this is all sorts of a mines and Armenian station. What is this? Temples, a bazaar. So this is like a, you know, a commercial. This is good imperial leg legacy. Look, it gives you plus to diplomatic relations. Uh, how about military actually? Look, I've neglected it. Campaign movement range, yes, oh, but plus three upkeep for all land units, that's not good. Uh, what about this one, recruitment up? oh, this is mercenary contracts, okay, what about this one? Charge bonus, okay, that would be really good, again, upkeep cost for all cavalry units. Uh, this is a tough, Let, let's go with this one, campaign movement range plus five, and then at the end of this, we will get the replenishment rate increase, a little bit of that. So let's see, where is a spy? There's one spy here. Yeah, so they retreated their army. The army that was supposed to have my allies hopefully will build strength and will be able to kind of attack these guys at some point, I hope. Let's keep him in Cilicia, this guy. And this gentleman, uh, let's send you up here. Ooh, damn, 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 damn. There's one, this is the army I think retreated, or this one, I don't know, one of them, one of them came hit us, I retreated, and they retreated, and these guys were left behind. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this opportunity to act, oh, there's another army here. Oh, these are the ones I think were for foraging there and uh, plundering me. Ah, I cannot reach them. Damn it. Cannot reach, cannot reach. I wanted to hit this army. I can't reach them. They can, uh, they can reach me, however. All three of them can. Um, what about Antioquia, if I go this way? So these guys can reach, uh, everyone can, uh, so I'm in such an impossible position, look at that. I'm within reach uh, of all this, all this, uh, can we actually go into construct fortification? I want to, to hit these guys, you know? Let's see if I can do that. Uh, there's no crossing or anything, I could just stand there and defend, you know? So let's place him in, yeah, construct fortification, there you go. So hopefully that will help. And let's see what Siluk is going to do the next turn. Okay, there's not much else I can do now. I cannot reach this army here to attack them. And uh, they can reach me though. I'm within reach of all of these armies. And there are a hell of a lot of them as you can see. Now let's see, it gets, uh, yeah, it gets a little bit more interesting than it was before. All right, uh, yeah, unit recruited, that is fantastic. Okay, they've attacked me, they've attacked me. At least there's only two armies now, and I'm in an entrenched position. Oh, let's see how that's going to go. 3,000 against 5,000 uh, Seleucids. What's the ter terrain like? Mm, okay, so there's some sort of a fort, uh, like a 
you know, area uh, where I can perhaps... I don't have much in terms of infantry, to be honest, but... You know what? Uh, let's try it. If anything, we can retreat, I hope. Okay, so this is us. They only have two units of cavalry in this army. However, there's another one, and I forgot to look at how many cavalry units they've got there. Okay, guys. Okay, here we are. So we've got... Uh, I've built some, uh, you know, stakes here on this embankment and on this side as well. So basically, they can have two crossing uh, possibilities. They can cross here or they can Enemy cross over here. And the uh, problem is, I was in encamped mode, but I, I, I didn't emerge in any sort of camp. It was just an open field. I could only build these two sets of stakes. The problem is, I don't have any long range units, which is really, really bad of me. And it's very, very ahistorical. There should be plenty of uh, long range. Um, I didn't bring any, all right? Because I think I did not, I neglect recruiting them. I think it was because I was not impressed with their morale again. For me, morale is like, you know, there was a situation when my army, just entire army almost, just, just kind of, you know, uh, routed. Uh, so I thought, you know, I'm only going to bother if they actually gonna stand and shoot, uh, which they haven't seemed to be, you know, uh, were able to do. So I brought instead Javelineers here, as you can see. Where is, this is Javelineers as well, is it? Uh, no, no, this is not. But they do have uh, ability for loose formation for some reason. I don't know. Oh, they have also, they also brought artillery, which is extremely annoying, because that means they can actually target us from far afield. So I'm going to start pulling uh, my cavalry away from here. Yeah, I deployed cavalry as you can see, kind of in the middle, in between, so they could be reinforced. Yeah, I'm going to get you guys, all of you fellas. Um, Oh boy, this artillery really annoys me. Uh, let's bring you here. Okay. And... Are they started to shoot? No, they still kind of... And I cannot cross here myself to kind of target them. So my only option is to fall back, I, I, I suppose. And we, we start taking damage here. And you see, this is another problem with the fact I did not bring any of my own skirmishes. But we st we're gonna start provoking them. Yeah, let's just target them. Let's go for it. Let's see if we can start forcing them, making mistakes. There you go. I want to actually lure them and towards me here, if I can, and see how that's going to work. Yeah, I don't want to suffer too many casualties here. Yeah, they have archers here, they have slingers here, which is extremely annoying. Unfortunately, these units that are actually skirmishes, they don't have the ability, you see, for the loose formation. I don't know, guys, if the devs are watching or anyone who knows, why is that? Like, why do I have spaced formation available here for this unit of Tureo Poroi and for this unit of uh, Thorakitai, but not for the actual proper, obvious skirmish units. This is... Oh, great, great. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, you see? They're now broken, they're running for their lives. Uh, and they have no loose formation now, and these guys will be probably running for their lives shortly as well, which is... Ex oh, no, they rallied. Okay. All right, yeah, let's send them forth again. I think this is just a bait for me to kind of try and lure their archers and others to waste their... Oh, what's happening here? Okay, this map is a little bit wonky. Um, so yeah, so that they waste their armor on me here and protect my heavier uh, uh, units actually from taking much damage, hopefully. And yeah, so their arrows will be wasted on these two units, we shall see. And also these javelineers, you know, these units, they have javelins, they have a couple of javelins on them. If you manage to force them to actually, you know, throw them at me right here and now, at this stage, it would be extremely useful. Where is the unit of artillery? I don't know, I lost track of it. Okay, but it might be the good time to actually start bringing these two units forward and protect protect this bridge here why is it only one unit gets selected oh they are in guard mode okay no 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 we don't want you the guys in guard mode we want you in fact to advance you guys hit them right what's happening here yeah excellent where are you going where are you going come back here where are you going yes fire at the enemy don't run away from the enemy we do do some damage here look 170 looks good right what's happening here okay yeah, attack them. Attack these fellas. These guys, you will have to disable this. Yeah, hit this cavalry unit here. So they decided 
Yeah, this is artillery. They decided to bring their cavalry and camelry. <laughs> uh, they don't have much space here to operate within. I have stakes here. Uh, let's attack and let's. Yeah. Oh, someone's routed. Yeah, where? Where did they run? Oh, it's these guys here, don't they? They struggle, they really do. Yeah, let's attack this unit if we can. These fellas, on the other hand, they doing okay, but I just want to position them in such a fashion. Oh, there you go. Yeah, they hit them now. I don't want them to actually have any cause any friendly fire damage. Yeah, there you go. Excellent, excellent. So this cavalry unit, this camels unit, sorry, frontier guy, they will be gone soon. And yeah, let's bring you guys a bit closer like so and stand and wait there. Oh, no, actually, yeah, target this retreating unit of camels. So they have two camels. They decided to actually reposition their entire army, seems to be, and send them to this flank here, which is fine. Uh, I'm going to reinforce it. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Don't pursue. Please don't pursue. In fact, I wanted you two, two guys to reform like so. Okay, go. Go for it, go for it. Oh, their unit of... Yeah, they return, but also their cam... Uh, what's, it? what's his name? <laughs> General is he, it seems. Let me try and target him. So they decided to abandon this crossing altogether, it seems, and they're attacking us on the uh, op opposing bank. Uh, not the opposing bank, on the opposing crossing. Alright, out, 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 boys. Out of there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are they manage managing? Yes, they managed to retreat. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, retreat, guys, and just stand put here. Go. Go, 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 don't break on me now. Yes, go. Oh, damn it. Ah, this bloody man, huh? They always given up. I have a unit of spearmen here as well I can actually send forward in case they break through there to kill their general. All right, this unit is now... Oh, yeah, guys, yeah, come out, come out of there. They're suffering heavy casualties. They're standing there looking pretty. But we managed, guys to uh, repel and to actually uh, these guys are not coming back are they I actually need them now uh, yes where are they rallying these guys yeah come oh yes yeah go for it no that seems that their general had enough I think it might be just going to the other uh, crossing on this side as well they seem to be amassing their forces here which means I should start actually thinking about bringing some reinforcements in to this side. Uh, yeah, their general seem to be on his way. No, he's not on his way. He's just suicidal. He wants to stick around and get killed, it seems. Um, okay, it's fine by me. Uh, as I wish, let's just, guys, quickly. Yeah, let's bring this unit a little bit closer, like so as well. And if they wanted to, there are stakes available for them. To engage with all right yeah so on this side we're going to try and actually bring more units in I don't have any more heavy units do I I have these guys and these guys uh, they expanded most of their uh, javelin years javelins it seems I will have to have some units covering this flank at the end of the day it seems to me um, where are my skirmish cavalry? I don't have any skirmish. Oh yes, I have do, uh, do have two units here. I'm gonna send them across the battlefield, I think. I'm going to do that. Let's bring these guys. I'm going to abandon this for now. This crossing, I'm going to abandon it altogether. Because it seems that they're concentrating all their might on this side. They have lots of archers here, you see? Which is nasty, 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 but what can you do? So let's bring all of my heavy infantry. They already started to take some damage. Let's actually position them here, like so. Uh, run for it. No, run for it, sorry, there, yeah. Okay, where is the unit of? I have units of, I had some light cavalry, didn't I? Can't see them now. Uh, well, let's let's just send one of these guys. Yeah, let's send them across to destroy the artillery so they don't annoy me pestering me With their fire Yeah, unfortunately we are subject to enemy fire here. It would seem Yeah guys further away and these fellas I would have to actually Reposition all of you guys to this flank here. Yeah, go for it 
So I'm going to hit this unit of artillery. I'm going to destroy that. So we already routed two units of their... Uh, of their... Uh, what was it? Camels. We're going to now hit these guys as well. There you go. That shouldn't be difficult. And that's that. And now on the other side... Okay, we need to slow things down. We definitely need to slow things down. Okay. All right, they're sending their cavalry this way. It's not good, but on this side, they've started the crossing, it seems to me. Yes, go for it, guys. Go for it. Uh, who is this? Spearman, why is deployed in such an awkward situation there? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, these are the skirmish units. I'm going to put them in skirmish. Okay. I think I would have to take out their cavalry. Yeah. Let's, let's attack. Let's target them. Let's target them. Okay. So if you just, yeah, march slowly through your own stakes, you should hopefully be, uh, you know, sustain too much damage. Yeah, let's attack them. Let's actually send you guys this way. So if I win this, then I would have more room to maneuver here. I can bring more cavalry actually this way. Yeah, go. Yeah, that should do it. All right, so we here subject to enemy fire. All right, out of there then. Who is the spearman? It's actually not a very good unit. They're light spearmen, it seems to me. Uh, we managed to yeah round this unit. All right, let's see. Missile cavalry, go after them. Go after them, yeah, after them. Off you go. Excellent. Quickly. All right, so what's happening here? Can we hold them off? Yeah, we should be able to, I think. Yeah, they are routing here as well. So their mo morale is quite brittle as well, as you can see. All right, now you guys are going the wrong way. I need you to come back here. Oh, yes, they're sending their general here. This is not very good. Not very good at all. All right, my units, cavalry units, the skirmishes, I'm going to ask them to actually not get too keen, too eager. I'm going to hit this unit of... Where, who are they? Oh yeah, we're doing alright actually. Yeah, we're not doing too badly. These guys come this way. Riders come this way as well. Actually, riders, why don't you target this unit or whatever support is coming. In the meantime, maybe I'll be able, I'll have enough time to actually disable the, uh, destroy this unit before their swarm is. Oh, they're... Uh, them, 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 them. They're actually, their uh, general is here as well, okay. Uh, can I enable skirmish? Let's try. And these guys as well, skirmish. Out, out of the way there, come on. Come on now, out of the way. No, they, they route you. Damn it. Yeah, my cavalry would need to be pulled back because they are now joined by their, their uh, swordsmen. Uh, this is not good. All right, what's happening on this flank? Okay, this flank we got engaged. It would seem to me, but we're holding our ground. We're holding the ground very well, in fact. Yeah, that's okay for now. However, cavalry here does not fare as well as I would hope. And this is because their bloody unit of spearmen is supporting the attack, which is not good. Not good at all. All right, so we will try and do something about this. If it was just the cavalry, I think I'm quite confident we could overwhelm them. But with the support of the spearman unit, and I didn't bring any more cavalry, which I think was a mistake. I'm going to start dispatching some heavy cavalry units that way. All right, good thing is their infantry units seem to be abandoning their general now, which is good for me. Let's see. Let's see if we can overwhelm him with a couple of units of medium cavalry. And yeah, we will target this unit as well. So we isolated him, which is great to see. We isolated and we have this units of medium cavalry and they should be able hopefully two of them to do the job yes and we're pelting at them and let's pursue this unit here this unit should be able to deal with this 27 remaining skirmishes on its own I hope and I hope to kill the general here let's go yes yes fantastic okay so we managed let's go and join uh, there. join them there and you guys you are in skirmish, aren't you? Yes, you are. Okay, stay away from it. 
Okie doke. Okay, here we're not dealing uh, with this situation very well. It seems to me I have actually in I'm in need of reinforcing this crossing point. Uh huh. All right, there's a problem here with this unit. There's a problem with this unit. Okay, and this guys, this is enemy fire is taking place there as well. Okay, come, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I'm gonna throw this unit of cavalry. I'm gonna uh, disable skirmish. I'm gonna throw them into the fray. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Fantastic. How many men he's got left? 33. This bastard does not want to die. Come on, come on. All right. Oh, these guys. I'm gonna send you guys this way as well. Go for it. Go for it. Disable your uh, skirmish and try and kill him before it's too late if we can. 31. Oh boy, it's more durable than I assumed. Let's get this unit of uh, cataphracts here. I think cataphracts will be a decisive factor here now. Okay, in the meantime, we're doing all right. It seems to me, yeah, we should be able to deal with them. Right. Uh, there's a hole. There's a hole. We need to plug this hole immediately. And I don't have any more units of cavalry and um, infantry to. No, I will have to use my skirmishes, I think, to support this unit of light spearmen they are, I believe. Yeah. Go for it. Go for it. And these guys, who can you attack? Yeah, I'll just stand there for a while. Yes, let's see what's what's happening here. How do we fare? We fare all right-ish. Go for it. Okay, I'm gonna dispatch my cataphracts this way. They're generally refusing to die. 21 men here is reduced to... But if these guys, they're tired. If they come back and, you know, support him here, then we will be in a big, big trouble. I made a mistake, actually. I shouldn't have dispatched the cataphracts. They're super slow. Should have sent some lighter units of cavalry that way. But they should do the job. Oh, yes, 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 fantastic. We routed him. I will, I will hope now that we will be able to kill him as well. As well as our men run away. Ah, uh, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, main thing is, he was killed, the general that is. Where is my general? My general is here. Okay, so we doing in... I don't know. Okay, it seems. Let's attack these guys. Let's bring this unit here as well. Right, we doing fine-ish. Yeah, let's attack them. Where is my unit of cataphracts? Okay. Yeah, they're not doing great, are they, against this Thuria Poros Spearman? They should have been doing better, I thought, with this charge, but they aren't, uh, which is alright, I guess. Let's get all of these lighter units from there, away from there. Uh, yeah, let's place you guys somewhere on the, si on the side here. They actually still, their general is hanging around here somewhere, so we'll see if I can actually do something about him. And I'm going to disengage my unit of cataphracts here as well for a while. Right, where is their general? Uh, it's here. Okay, I'm going to ask them to reform here. Okay, go. In the meantime, what's happening on this side? This side, I think it's time now to hit this unit of archers with our cavalry. And support... Ah, okay, my infantry here is, seems to be breaking now. Which is not very good. Okay, good. Excellent. No, actually, support this unit. You fellas can support these guys. And you this way. And you this way. Okay. So, yeah, I've dispatched my cavalry, heavy cavalry, headlong charge into God knows what they're aiming at now. Yeah, there's spearmen or what is it? Yeah, that's not a good um, charge, is it? But you know what, guys? We managed to route this unit of spearmen. This general is still alive, which is not good. I'm going to send someone in pursuit. I'm gonna send these guys actually to pursue them and my cataphras I'm going to ask them to start encircling yeah come this way now you fellas you've done a bit of damage now get out of there um, what else we can do here what else what else this is general let's just see if we can inflict enough damage upon them are they yeah they have did we kill their general? No idea. Right, let's bring the cavalry. Let's bring the cavalry here. Let's bring the cavalry around the flank. We're going to hopefully trap them in this narrow spot where we can then effectively deal with them, I hope. Yeah, go for it. 
you guys go for it as well. Off you go, and this spearman. Run, who's run? Where? Ah, uh, this guy's. Yeah, I shouldn't even be bothered with them. But I don't think I killed the general, I think he ran away. The bugger. Alright, good thing is, the cataphracts are now lining up in a position, hopefully. Hope, hopefully they're not too tired, they wind it, that's okay, that's okay, not a big problem. Um, Alright, let's bring our cavalry a little bit closer, like so, to support. And it seems like everything is going according to the plan. Yes, hit them. Hit this unit, alright. And you guys, you four, free, come here. Like so, yeah, go. I was hoping to kill the general, I don't know if I succeeded in that. We shall see. Right, where are the cataphracts? Go for it, what are you doing? Run, run. Run. These guys are wavering, or what are they, broken? No, they are broken, that's good. Off you go, guys, come on, come on. One last push here on this side. Yeah, go for it, go for it. Yeah, so cataphracts are charging in. Ta-da! And I think I should have actually accompanied this by another charge from this flank, which I'm going to do right now. Go, mass route, perhaps. Wouldn't that be great? I think that would be delicious. Right, oh, no, 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 guys, come back here. You don't need to pursue them there. Yeah, look at that, beautiful, beautiful. Let's go for this, and let's go, yeah. So cataphracts are now hammering them there. I have cavalry on this side as well, on this flank. My center is still holding. I'm going to dispatch more units, I think, this way. Yeah, you guys, 142 Galatians, go after these archers. Yeah, I think it works, like clock. Mm, yeah, you actually go after this foreign to Reopor. Actually, actually, I'm going to support my unit here. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're doing all right. We just pocketed, but place them in this pocket from which there is no escape. That's it. It's gonna be a, a massive slaughter at the end of the day. An absolute. And my, my cavalry is fresh. My general, I'm going to bring him forward to support us with the morale issues. Yes, please. Awesome. So this unit needs to be addressed. We're going to send the spears. We're going to support them with the swords. Excellent. Yes, we are. Cataphracts are doing marvelous job. Look at them there. Excellent. You see these particles? I've got the submod particles, I think. They're kind of dust particles like that. It looks absolutely beautiful, doesn't it? Right. Yeah, let's attack. Let's attack these guys from rear. Yeah, go for it. And my cavalry is causing here an absolute havoc. All right. So we brought this unit. They are actually doing okay. There's one more unit in reserve. Maybe we should just chase this struggle. So that's it, guys. That is it. That is a great victory. All right, guys. Here we are. Close victory. A decisive victory for us. Let's end this battle. So, deployed 3,000, 5,700, losses 1,000, well, one third of the army. That's not good, but they, look at their army. It's all wiped out. I was pursuing them mercilessly because this is my only chance to actually, you know, make this victory a decisive victory. And I have so much cavalry. Look, they, they've gained a lot of experience here. And here we are. So this is one army destroyed, I believe, hopefully. Yes, close victory. This is... Ah, oh, the, the bugger survived. <laughs> and this guy survived as well. Ah, I was hoping to kill them, but that is fine. Their entire armies are destroyed. So enslave. If I enslave, unit will be replenished to 11%. This is what we want. Yes, and this is what we're going to go for. Look at my units. They have suffered badly, really, really badly here. Especially the, the infantry. Yeah, great. So here we are, illegitimate son, uh, here in history. I'm not reading it, I've read it so many times in both this mode and in uh, Europa Barbarum. Well, we have surplus population in Armenia, which is fantastic. All right, close victory, guys. So close victory. Uh, casualties, we have 
1200 and they have yeah it seems they have 4700 in either case we destroyed almost destroyed the two armies so these are the remnants of one army this is the remnants of another army unfortunately i was unable to kill their general which is quite regrettable but i did not uh, lose any units outright in fact he is now captain of the guard which is personal security general size should be increased although i don't see the increase here yet and uh, yeah illegitimate birth is the other fella food shortage was also resolved and he's now authoritative and this is public order military integrity which was good because we always suffered from that however yeah we were also in this uh, guarded position and this allowed us perhaps it was actually turned out to be quite a good spot you know because of the crossing here into places and stakes that were uh, made available for us I have some mercenaries i will think of uh, but i will leave it for the next episode okay guys thanks a lot for watching this uh, armenia one Seleucids zero and we'll see how that goes uh, going forward yeah so Kalkis is also approaching their targets hopefully they will help us with this war and uh, thanks again for dropping by and i shall see you guys in the next episode